Good morning, Ron Bishop, Timaru Tourist Promotions Limited. I'm here on the Farlab Raceway in Timaru. Behind me is the great racehorse, the, stat the bronze statue of the great racehorse Farlap, who was born just down the road uh, from uh, the Timaru district here. But I'm not here to talk about Farlap today, I'm here to talk about some vintage cars. There's a vintage car rally going on here and I'm going to go around and, and see some people and talk to them about their cars. So come with me on a great little journey around some vintage cars. Ladies and gentlemen, we've found the oldest vintage cars. These are called horses. And they were invented long before any car. And a man is going to tell me all about them. G'day, Jack. What's G'day. your name? Yeah, John. Hello, John. John. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And what do you know about these horses? Well, they're, they're just here on behalf of the... Speak up. They're just here on behalf of the breweries. Oh, this is the breweries. And uh, they hire they hire uh, the horses' office. Yes. To, uh, to do the odd parade just around Timaru. Right. Yeah, and this is this is uh, that, this is the carriage here. That's the brewery wagon. Right, the brewery wagon. And you're going to put the horses in there later on and parade them around. Yeah. For everybody to see. That's right. But there's no beer on the carriage because the guys have drunk it all. Have they? <laughs> no beer on the carriage, hey? No, but he better be. Found an E-type Jag. Know nothing about Jags, but there's a man over here that owns it. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Come closer, talk to me. What's your name? Wayne O'Donnell. Wayne. Tell yes. us about your car, Wayne. 74 V12 manual E type Jag, last year of production. Right. Uh, it's totally stock standard factory. It uh, hasn't had any modifications apart from one coat of paint in its life, and it's done uh, just about just under 42,000 miles. Gee, is that all? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Is it for sale? No. <laughs> <laughs> number 157. What is 157? What's the name of it? Uh, it's a Sunbeam, a 1912 Sunbeam. Uh, it comes from Mosfuel now. It, it was restored in uh, at Clinton or near Clinton on the farm. We've had it, first parts of it were gathered up about 1960 and we got it on the road uh, as a rally car in 1999. So it was a, it was a long restoration. I, had, I have another Sunbeam a year older than this one, so we were used So what year is this? This is 1912. 1912. The same as the number plate. Uh, um, G, G there it is, 19 GP 1912. Thanks for telling us about it. At a Rio car. Very unusual car. Looks pretty old to me. And there's a gentleman going to tell me all about it. Yes, this is a 1910 Rio Gentleman's Roadster. Owners, Calvin and Janet Love, Timaru. And it's built by Ransom Eli Olds of Lansing, Michigan, USA. And it's a 20, 22 horsepower, horizontally opposed twin cylinder with four and three quarter inch bore and six inch stroke, which is 3,200 cc's, two forward and reverse planetary gears, final drive, direct single chain. The motor is believed to have come from the first car that travelled from Hokitika to Franz Joseph Glasser in July 1911. The it's very interesting. Thank you very much for telling us that. There's only a little bit more. Yeah, but the oh, is it clicked off? We're looking at a very unusual car here. Oh, well, that's good. That's what we, that's what we want to see. Now, who, who am I talking to? Jim Geddes. Jim Geddes? Yes. What do you know about this car, Jim? Well, I've, as, as co-builder, a lot. Yeah. You, you built it? You, you, and, John you and your mates? Campbell, John Campbell and I built it. Yeah. Right. And uh, it was scaled off photos, two photos of the original. What's the year of it? 1900. 1900, there you are. Different people give different dates, but I researched it from the um, files and the microfilm in the uh, museum. Yep. And also uh, Denison from 
Omeroo. He documented his trip from Christchurch down to Omeroo. Yep. And when he came through Timaru on or about the 28th of June 1900, Cecil Wood, the maker of this thing, uh, caught up with him at the south end of Timaru and took him back to show him, in Denison's words, the vehicle that he had just completed. Thank you. We've got a motorbike here. Look at that. Another old car here. I'm frightened to ask people about their cars because they speak for about an hour. They won't stop talking. Anyone own this? No, I don't know. Know the name of it? What's the name of this one here? For sale? It's a Ford. Anyone know the year? They just keep coming, these cars. Look at that there. Absolutely fantastic. There's a 1934 DeSoto. Over here we've got a Plymouth. One without a roof. Looks a bit like a Model A, is it? Yes, it's a Ford Model A. Convertible. It's a Nanza Tipo 3. Nanza Tipo 3. God. Whatever that means. Yes. Here's a truck, Munro Otapura Timaru. A Ford truck. There's a Rolls Royce here. Looking all nice and spruce. Another old fella here. It's a Model T Ford. Here's a Hudson. The Hudson convertible motor car. There's another old one here. I'll see if I can get the name of it. Can't get the name of it. Well, I know that's a Ford V8. They were in my day. What have we got here? This is a what? Chrysler. We know this is a Jag. Is this another Jag here? And here's a... I don't know what this is. They're the modelled ones. These are the 2000 Triumph 2500s. They were very popular in their day. And here we have a Morris 8. I think it is. Yes, it's a Morris 8. It's a Chrysler, very nice looking Chrysler. Here we've got a Morris 8. And here's another Austin, little Austin 7. Oh, this one's got a, uh, a back seat. Morris Minor, we're all familiar with the Morris Minor, some of you fellas. My parents had one of these, it's called an, uh, an Austin 10. I think it's called an Austin 10. No, a, a Vauxhall. Another Ford. Ford Model T. What have we got here? A Buick. We've got a little Mini here, a little yellow Mini. Mini Miner. There's the Hillman Minx. Popular in their day. The convertible. Morris convertible. An Elvis. Elvis motor car. This smart looking motor vehicle is a Triumph. A Chev. A little Anglia there. This is a Morris 18. I've never heard of a car before. Here it is. What have we got here? A Jag, is it? Smart looking Jag and a Citroen alongside it. They look like racing cars. Little Austin there. They're all Austins. Is this an Austin? Yes. 
and there's an MG over there. What's this one? An Austin Healy. An MG. A Rover, three litre Rover. An Essex. A DeSoto. Good. A puppy dog. An Austin. What's this? A Morris? Morris truck. Chevrolet. A Dodge. Another Chev. As far as the eyes can see, I think. Looking very important up there. You look very important up there. What's this? What's the name of this vehicle? Model T Ford. Is the Model T Ford? Yes. Did you build it? A lot of parts, yes. Got the year? 1915. 1915. <laughs> Thanks for talking. I like the number plate. Old toy. They're all old toys here. Who owns a motorbike? Anybody? Hodsmobile. Here's a Dodge. Slowly moving up the road here. He's coming into where I am. Dad and his children. Leebrook Fairview, Timaru. Anyone own this? Uh, not, not us. <laughs> Don't know anything about it? It belongs to Stick Campbell, this, this truck. Leebrook Fairview, Timaru. I want to know who Leebrook Fairview is. Was it a farm? It's the name of their property. He'll tell you. Whose property? Don Campbell's. Don Campbell's property. So it's stra straight off the farm. Look at that. That's all I wanted to know. There's a Fiat. Gee, that's a smart looking Fiat, isn't it? And there's a Citroen, look. A Corvette, who owns the Corvette? Your brother. How fast can it go? I don't know, but it's not slow anyway. Very nice looking car. No. Now here's an Austin. It's in work. It looks like it's still in work. It's come as is, and that's the way they should be. Look at that for a Chevy. And look at this for, what is it, a DeSoto, is it? Sorry, it's a Studi Baker. Now that's what I call unusual. What is the name of it? It's a Citroen, is it? This is a nice old motor car. Who owns this? Is that yours? Your husband. What year is it? 1920. And what is it? A Briscoe. A Briscoe? I've never heard of a Briscoe. No, you won't. There's one other lovely one up in Auckland. But Mr. He Mr. Briscoe worked for Henry Ford. Oh, did he? Uh, yes. For, and then he branched out and made Briscoes for so many years. And then he went bankrupt. So there's only so many around. Well, there you are. A bankrupt car. Was. And it's here today. This is called a Bayard. I wish I knew where the owner was. Right. I found a young girl here. She <laughs> owns this car. Well, someone owns this oh. car. And you know who owns it? Yeah, my granddad used to, but then um, when he passed away, it got put in the family trust. So. Oh, right. Mackenzie's owner. Mackenzie's yes. owner. What's your name? I'm Amy Jenkins. I'm not. McKenzie. Thanks, Amy, for talking to us and telling it's us about right. the car. <laughs> what are you selling? What am I selling? Yes. Are you? And replica top hats and replica bowler hats. Right. So these are all original and this yes. is all I've got left. Good on you. <laughs> I've got men's walking sticks. Have you? No, I don't want one of those, I just know. No. No, come back in a few years' time. <laughs>
This is the people's choice box. This is where you put your your, um, your ticket in and you vote for your favourite car. Thompson's Fish Supply in Macau. Does anyone own the, the car? What is it? A Ford, is it? Model T or something? I do go these cars. Buick Club of America. The old Buick. Great old car. Here is a vehicle without a motor. It's called a caravan. Let's go inside and have a look at this caravan. There's the bed. There's the little radio there. The table. The cooker. Everything there. Absolutely fantastic. Do you want to tell me about what you're doing here? What have you got here? Um, we've got steering wheels, wooden steering wheels. You make them? Yes, my husband makes them. Oh, right. And he also does um, wood graining on the metal dashboards and around the windows. Oh, does he? All this work here? Revitalize it, eh? Yeah. Is this them here? Yeah. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Did you do all this? I do, Ron. Yeah, good on you. Hey? Eh? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Have you blokes worked it all out? You look pretty serious there. Have you got it all sorted? Eh? I don't. Ice cream shop. <laughs> what are you doing here selling ice creams? <laughs> hey? We're hoping that you're going to come buy some. This is a better, better way to make a living, surely, on a Sunday. Don't know about that. Good product. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell everybody around the world, because you're going on YouTube, and uh, what's your name? Gelatine Italian Ice Cream? Araki Gelato. Araki Gelato, there you are. No worries at all. <laughs> Timaru Wood Turners Club. Let's go and have a look. Here they are, all the wood turners. What are you doing there, mate? Just mucking about. Just mucking about? Yeah. What are you making? This is where all the wood turnings go, eh? This is some of the wooden uh, finished articles of the wood turners club. Isn't that amazing, some of this stuff? Look what they've made. Great what they can do with wood, isn't it? Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. What's over here? Look at this. More stuff here. Look at that. The wood turner stuff. Tell me all about it. Tell you all about it. What do you like me to tell you? Well, what am I doing here? Well, what's sculpture wood? What's this all about? Sculpture wood is part of the wood tennis. Oh, you're part of the wood tennis, yeah. and this is your work. This is my work. Good on you. Hey, it's different, isn't it? It is. Many hours of work going into that, I'll bet, eh? Oh, a few time wasted. Yeah. It's better than on the end of the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. That's a photograph of Far Lap, printed by M.A. Cameron in 1905. <laughs> <laughs> now we're right. I love the clothes. Where are you from all? Where are you come from? We're from Blenheim. Blenheim? Timaru. Blenheim and Timaru. There you are. All dressed up for the day. Where are you from? Marlborough. And you've come all the way to Timaru. Hey, thanks for coming. I see you've got a... Uh, uh, a custard square there oh, from yeah, Pleasant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there, there they are. This is what they do in the vintage car day at the rally. All sit around and have lunch. They're boozing. They're boozing? Yeah, boozing. Yeah.
There's the horses. Yeah, just away there now, all aboard. We're going on YouTube, it's a movie, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a video, so where are you from? Dunedin. Dunedin? Yeah. And this is your car? Yes, yeah, 38 Chev. A 38 Chev. Yeah. Gee. And I've got my own private collection of vintage clothing and vintage hats, and I brought a, a table to set up a stall today, and I've sold the whole lot. Are oh, you the lady I saw before? Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah. Right. good on you. And gloves, all of that kind of thing. All did... original vintage. Good on you. Yeah. Back she goes, steady she goes. Whoops. Bit of a gaunt there. Back she goes. Back she goes. Maybe she goes. Well, that's it, folks. The vintage car rally here in Timaru in March 2013 I hope you enjoyed it this video will be going on to Traveller's Guide website that's travellersguide.co.nz travellersguide.co.nz